subtitles. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's me, your boy, Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more love from Power Directed University. Over the past few months, I've had a few requests on how to get down in the subtitle room. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make subtitles in Power Director, and I'm gonna show you using Power Director 14 Ultimate. Let's get into it. Here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate, and it's time for me to show you how to get your subtitle thing right. But before I do that, I wanna remind you of a few quick things. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on that. It lets people know that the content in these videos are good. Comments. Leave me comments, I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the direction to get you the help that you need. Subscribe, people. Subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you won't know when I upload a video and you'll miss out on all of this juicy Power Director love that I'm bringing to you. Let's make this subtitle thing happen, shall we? First off, I want to tell you that subtitles are a great way to add interest to your videos. They're a great way to help people who want to mute your video. They can still see what's happening or what's going on. And also, it's fantastic for the hearing impaired so they can follow along on your videos. So I'm going to show you how to make the subtitles so that all of those people can get the benefits of being able to have captions or subtitles in your videos. Now, keep in mind, Subtitles can be used for adding subtitles to DVDs or just embedding them in your video itself. And I'm gonna show you how to set up those options, all right? First of all, you see I got some video clips down in my timeline. So in order to get things started, I need to go to the subtitle room. When I click on that, it opens up the subtitle room. And I got some options here. So. If I move my playhead to a position where I want to add a subtitle, I can click on the add a subtitle marker. And that automatically adds a subtitle and it gives it a duration of 10 seconds. All right. So it tells me where I'm starting the subtitle at. And it tells me where the subtitle is going to end at. I can automatically see that it's ending past this video clip and going into this one. So if I want to, I can place my cursor here, left click, hold down my mouse and drag it back to a place where I'd like it to stop. I also have the option of clicking on the duration button. And if I do that, I can manually type in the amount of seconds and frames that I want for each one of the subtitles. Now, in order to add text, I need to double click here. If you can read, you know that just like I do. So I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to add something. And when I'm done, I'm just going to click outside of there. And now you can see that my subtitle has been added to the video. Now, if I don't like that, if I click on it again, I have this minus sign. It means that I can go ahead and remove it. So I'll click on that and the subtitle is gone. So let me just add something back real quick. So the other option I have besides removing it is I can go ahead and adjust the position. So if I don't like where it's at, I can click on this button to adjust the position. And then if I move this X position to the left, the words will move to the left. If I move them to the right, words will move to the right. If I move the Y position to the left, the words will move up. And if I move it to the right, the words will move down. If I want to reset everything, I can just click on reset and it'll put everything back to the middle position. If I have more than one subtitle selected, I can do apply to all, and it will apply the position to all of the subtitles that I have. 
Now, if I don't like the text that it's using, I can click on the change subtitle text format button. When I click on that, I can change all the options, the uh, font, the style, size, 3D depth, uh, the alignment, everything. I can change all that info here. And once again, if I have more than one subtitle made here, I can just click on apply to all and it will apply it to all of them. Now here we have the option to import subtitles from a SRT or a TXT file. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what a TXT file is, it's a text file, usually something that you create with a notepad. But a SRT file is a subrip subtitle file. Basically that's the most common uh, type of subtitle or caption file format that's out there. So basically if you have another program that uh, create SRT files, you can just import them and boom, it'll add the words at the correct times and all of that stuff. So that's a great feature to have on here. Also, you have the ability to export as an SRT file. So if you want it to be compatible with another software that you want to bring it into, you've created all of these subtitles, you can click on this button and you will export it as an SRT file that can be used with other programs. And then you have the option to select the type of subtitles that you want. So if you click on this button, you get to choose whether you're going to create subtitles for a disc or a DVD, or if you're going to just create subtitles that are in the video. So just keep in mind, if you create ones for a DVD, you have less formatting options than you do for creating the ones that just stay with the video. All right. And last but not least, here you have a more features button. Uh, basically, it just lets you cut things, remove them. You can copy and paste them into different positions, set the duration, things like that. All the other options that are not available are grayed out. And that's it, people. Now you know how to get your subtitle thing going on in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Show the thumb some love. Comments, you leave me comments, I'll give you answers. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you need. And last, but definitely not least, you gotta subscribe. When you subscribe, you'll know whenever I upload a video and then you'll be able to take advantage of all of that power director love that I bring to you for YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.